What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mo. I want to say welcome back to Mo Better Kicks. Um, I don't know what the problem is. My mic, my camera, it's a horrible, horrible audio. So I, I apologize if this sounds very horrible. Um, I did get some new mics ordered. Uh, hopefully they'll be in by New Year's. But we just got to suffer through this one, I guess, man. Um, I want to say uh, welcome back. I mean, it's been going on maybe two weeks since we last put an actual video out. And I've missed it, man. I've, I missed it a lot. Uh, it's been rough. <laughs> been rough not being able to record anything. Um, I mean, I did the, the little brief update video last week but it wasn't like you know what I mean sitting in here putting a putting some actual content out so um, I've definitely missed it I'm glad I could be here today on camera man it feels good um, still working out a, a setup don't know what we're gonna do yet but we'll figure something out man um, we little news update on us we moved we relocated new beautiful home um the opportunity just spur of the moment kind of thing arose and we jumped on it instantly and that's where we're at now that's why it was a rough two weeks couple of weeks for us but um um we're all happy man like i said outside of my lack of filming area it, it's amazing and we're happy as hell this this is uh <clears throat> this worked out for us but back to sneaker news. Um, hmm. First of all, okay. Any of you guys remember me mentioning uh, Preston and the guys over at the One Sneakers on YouTube um, and IG? If you haven't checked them out, definitely go check them out. Um, as I've mentioned, I'm in, in his Discord and ordered a $165 um, mystery box. Which should be here, I want to say around the 1st, at the latest, the 3rd, I believe it was. But, um, <clears throat> I believe he's coming, he, it's coming from Cali, I believe, so. Uh, or, yeah, maybe it is Cali, I believe. Anyways, it's coming, it's on its way. So, be prepared and stay tuned for an uh, unboxing slash full review of whatever it is we receive in that mystery box I believe it's it's only one pair um, but he, he's the estimated value of whatever we're getting is supposed to be 18 to 20 percent I believe which is around 30 some bucks so it'll push us close to like $200 for whatever this pair of shoes is so that's what I'm basing it on um, we'll, we'll check that out when they come in. We'll do a live uh, on YouTube and IG um, when those do come in. Problem, the problem is it's been a, a nightmare with Xfinity. We have Xfinity and uh, I'm sure most of you are familiar with Xfinity. Um, I'm pretty sure if Xfinity is all around the world. But anyways, we got Xfinity, but the issue is there's because we're so close to the holidays I'm assuming I don't know for sure but um, the transferring of the service over here has been a nightmare internet and cable and everything so we've been watching movies I mean DVDs over and over again uh, picking up hot spots to watch and stream uh, the football games and everything so it's been a nightmare <laughs> we live our lives on the internet and cable so um, <clears throat> That installation date is January 4th, but we're trying to get it early, so worst case, I won't be able to put out a video until the 4th, because the shoes will definitely be in before then. I'll just have to wait till, until everything's installed to uh, do our live streams, but they're definitely coming. So I'm going to get a definite date on when the shoes will be here, and then I'll schedule, I'll put up posts about my lives for IG and YouTube to do that unboxing but um shout out to Preston shout out to one sneakers if you haven't already go check them out show them some love um, 
yeah man I, I'm excited about that my very first uh, mystery box ever so uh, it's a big deal my expectations are very low um, I'll just be happy to be able to get 15 20 maybe 30 bucks out of profit out, out of them so um, I mean depending on what they are we might just we might not sell them we might just try to tr use them as trade bait um, you know, who knows we'll see um, I'm, I'm really I'll give you my review of trade block later but um, that actually nice segue into the next the reason for this video um, but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see what we get and figure out what we're gonna do from there we'll talk about that later but the reason everybody's here right now we have finally received our shoes remember a little while back we made a trade on trade block or someone sent us a trade on trade block uh, these uh, social status dunk mids uh, strawberry milks for my Gore-Tex one uh, particle grays was the colorway <clears throat> they sent us that trade straight up shoe for shoe and I accepted um, I've been high on these since they came out um, I should have made them throw in like 30 40 bucks um, on top of the shoes but I mean looking at the values and I wasn't paying attention to it before but looking at the values I should have should have had them throw a little bit of something on top no big deal um, that's my error I, I'm still happy with the shoes I'm happy with, with the trade so <clears throat> I can't complain too much but I definitely should have had them throw some money in on there but um that being said man let's just let's check out the shoes right so first I've seen everybody going crazy over this box for good reason um, I do I do like these these unique different um, what do you want to call them uh, I want to call them collection pieces all on their own like these boxes I definitely want to collect these specialized boxes on top of the sh sneakers because there's as much story into these boxes as there is the shoes I believe but this box is definitely cool definitely give you uh, that breakfast more breakfast uh, vibe cereal box nutritional facts I mean it says box content but this the nutritional facts and all that um, definitely 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 cool <clears throat> I do plan on getting the chocolate milks as well so uh, stay tuned for that I don't know if I'm a trade for them or if I'm just buying a trade out I don't know but those are coming but <clears throat> open up box Got your little card from Trade Block. Are we gonna focus? Nope. See, I've been having the issues with my Canon focusing, so <clears throat> trying to upgrade my camera, my whole setup, really, my gear. This is this was not perfect for a beginning, but I'm definitely at the point where I want to upgrade my content so I have the best product to put out. So if anybody has any any recommendations on <clears throat> affordable and worthwhile camera equipment. I know I've seen a lot of YouTubers um, talk about the so different Sony six, A6100, 6400s, all of those models. I'll check them out for sure, but I'm in a market now for uh, some new some new equipment. So uh, let me know what you think I, I should I should get. And um, yeah, so okay, back to the shoes. The trade block sends you a little card. It says your new kicks are here. Thank you for being a part of. The trade block community we exist because of passionate people like you collectors new and old whose shared love for sneakers and sneaker culture has created a dynamic and growing community as we grow we'd love your help spreading the word if you post a picture of your new shoes tag us on instagram at tradeblock.us and let people know you got them hashtag off the block thank you again for choosing trade block much love the trade block team <clears throat> i did post a picture on uh, IG, I did tag them in it as well, so we did take part in that. Um, one thing I did appreciate can we see that? Well, barely, but um, down here, right there, you go. We can see signature of the person who actually authenticated this pair, this trade, this pair. I don't know if it was both pairs, my pair and his, but he authenticated at least this pair. And I think that's pretty cool that they actually signed it. Like this is ink, it's not printed on. They wrote this, which I think is cool. 
<clears throat> more of a personal uh, touch that you don't expect anymore, you know what I mean? But um, also in the box, they got this little Nike social status uh, <clears throat> coin purse, change purse. Social status symbol on the, the logo on the back. I definitely dig this. This is definitely, uh, like I said, another little collector item that I definitely think on top of the shoes is a nice touch. But um, <clears throat> I, I enjoy that a lot. <clears throat> so let me show you. And I'll, I'll take this out actually. This paper, nice little design on the side. But further review, <clears throat> we, we took it out actually after our IG video last night. This is actually a calendar and we'll, we'll get it out now for you. But it's actually a little uh, social status lunch mini uh, calendar and I, I thought that was cool as hell, man. Take this out real quick. Be that. I mean, you, you can't really see it perfectly, but you get the gist, right? That's cool. That's cool to me. And every day it's got um, <clears throat> a different meal, like the, the first grilled cheese dunk, and then you got laces, box, tissue paper with chocolate milk. And like it alternates every day between chocolate milk and the strawberry milk. And I think that's. That's definitely cool as hell, man. I do. I, I like that. That's an, another really nice touch that I really appreciate on top of the shoes that I really wanted. And after we looked at that last night, we noticed this smooth touch. A little uh, lunch tray print on the inside. That had that had me getting hype, right? Because I don't know. It's Super, super stuff like that's just overly exciting to me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, get that print. All right, my bad. The camera cut off. Let's focus that up. There we go. All right, so we've rambled on enough, apparently. Let's get to the shoe. Um, bam, baby. Tell me these aren't smooth. Let me see inside there. So, what you don't can't see from the video is this is the silkiest velvet I've ever <laughs> touched, man. Some really good quality velvet on these shoes. Um, everything is super smooth. This the new buck. I was that yeah, that is new buck. Super smooth, super cool. Um, the swooshes. This isn't the normal plastic or any. This is a nice gel, um, bouncy gel. Like like you remember the old pumps, pump up, pump up your shoes back. Well, the Reeboks, I believe, something like that. This it's like real nice squishy um, gel, which I think is a nice touch. If we can see, I might have to focus this manually. Can we get that? There we go. You see the white inside the gel. That's there you go. You can but see that that's that's uh, milk, milk's de uh, design, which I thought was cool, like splashing milk around inside the the swoosh. I thought that was a big a big cool uh, touch as well. I mean, to be real with you, I don't have much of anything bad to say about these shoes. Um, the shoes personally, not not the trade or. <sighs> how I felt about the trade just the shoes in general <clears throat> um, I think these are amazing I was a, I was a bigger fan of the chocolate milks but I definitely wanted the strawberries as well so seeing how I feel about these right now I know I'm gonna love the chocolate milks when I get them I just know that they're gonna be spectacular but let me give you a little <sighs> rundown on the The dislikes what, what i wasn't vibing with too much about these which is not a lot to be honest with you two factors that's it real talk two factors about this shoe um from production that that i'm not a fan of 
don't make or break my decision on wanting these at all or the chocolate milks, but I'm, I'm, I'm just definitely not a fan of them. We'll start with the tongue. This cheap uh, carnival ticket type paper. Like it's, I keep, I'm afraid I'm gonna rip it just by touching it. Um, it's so cheap and disgusting. I'm not a fan of that. Like they, how do you put all this amazing material on these shoes and then drop the ball with a tongue tag? Like I don't understand. But that that's definitely not a big drawback. But that's why. What happened? <laughs> why did you guys quit trying? You know what I mean? But that and these laces. Um, what are they called? Hold on. Okay, round twisted poly laces. These, they're ugly to me. These don't appeal to me at all. I'm, like I said, neither one of these issues make or break the, this shoe, but you could have tried better. Put more quality in into the tag and these laces. Now, they do come with another pair, a replaceable, a replacement pair of laces, but that's like a creamsicle type color. You know, that doesn't match. It doesn't go with the, the whole vibe of strawberry and milk. But, again, nonetheless, does not make or break my decision or how I feel about these shoes at all. I, I definitely love these shoes. I'm so glad I have them in the collection. Excuse me. Um, I would be scared to death to wear these boys outside at all. Would excuse me man a little bit of rain a little bit of snow i feel like I'm, I'm screwed so these would never be on feet outside um i'd put these boys on only at a, like a sneaker event um secret convention once i get in the building get set up then i'll put these on you know what i mean but never outside ne never in the elements these would damage easily and to be real with you, I'd be too scared to put um, some of the water repellent or anything on these. The only thing I plan on putting on these shoes, the crease protector inside for sure. And because, yeah, I, this this new buck, that's going to crack bad. So definitely put, the, put that uh, crease protector inside. And for the bottoms, I'm definitely going to get the drip grip. Now, I told you guys, I'm going to do a head-to-head -head review of soul protector versus drip grip um i put the soul protector on my uh my patchwork threes and i've been wearing them here and there uh to the store or whatever um it's i'll give my review on those after what we do the head to head because i don't want to say anything too early i'd rather just voice my opinion um when i can have the both we have, we have options on both but <clears throat> we're gonna put some drip grip, we'll get some drip grip, put some drip grip on here. And uh, just, you know, material, uh, uh, durability, et cetera, cost factors, all of that. We're gonna review all of that and see which one we think would be the best to go with. Soul protector versus drip grip. Um, I haven't really seen, I'm sure people have done it, I haven't seen I haven't really searched either because I don't want to uh, ruin my review for it. But I haven't seen anyone else do a head-to-head -head of Drip Grip versus uh, Soul Protector. So I'm curious to see which is better and um, to go from there, really. Um, nice Another nice little touch right here. Can we get that? Whoops. There we go, sort of. Well, that's it. There you go. Ingredients which is basically the materials, which I definitely think was awesome and stamped that on here. Um, ingredients, it says Nike Sportswear, Social Status, Milky TPU Gel Swoosh. So I've talked about the Gel Swoosh. YY Velvet, Diffuse New Buck, Microbial Textile Lighting, Tyvek Label. I don't, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm assuming that's this. I don't like, I don't like that label at all. Um, and round twisted poly laces, which again, I've, it doesn't make or break anything. They're just, they're not appealing. They don't, everything about this shoe wows me except for those two pieces and 
it feels like you just quit trying um, during production. But again, doesn't make or break anything. It's neither here or there. So, um, super excited about these shoes. I definitely love them. They will be on my trade block. I will not be selling them, but um, they will be on my trade block. Trade block as uh, what is it? Pre-owned, used, whatever the category is. I'm gonna do on feet. Um, I'm not wearing them out anywhere. Don't worry about that. If you're interested, they're size 14. But I will be doing an on feet review of these bad boys just to see how they feel. Um, clean socks, everything. Don't stress about that. I will wear them for no more than two minutes, if that. Uh, maybe five. Maybe five minutes. We'll say five for the video. But um, these will be on my trade block. Uh, like I said, I, everything on my trade block, it, I, I'm not selling. Um, I just, if I can get better value out of then for something else, put towards something else, like some off-whites or something. I'm here for that. Um, but, yeah, I will not be looking to get any monetary value out of these, just trade purposes or my own personal collection. Um, but, yeah, man, that's, that's all I got for today. I appreciate you guys for coming back, rocking with your boy. If you haven't already, check out my light uh, review on IG. Uh, I did that last night. My first time doing IG Live. Um, it was fun. I dig it. I'm going to do it a lot better. I promise you. It was just uh, kind of spur of the moment kind of thing. Let me let me hit up an IG Live. Get a, get a uh, sense of how, how it goes. Um, but um, yeah. Did, check out my IG Live. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, hit that notification bell so you stay up to date when we're coming up with new content. Share this video with your friends. Let me know what you guys think in the comments comments about these shoes um if you if they're a cop for you or not <clears throat> if you think this was a stupid trade or, or a, a worthwhile trade in the end the strawberry dunks strawberry milk dunks for the uh uh gore-tex ones what you think about that trade um go drop a follow on ig as well link to that will be in the description and um yeah man that's all we got for today I appreciate you guys. I love you. Thank you for rocking with your boy. Till next time. Peace.